This is what happens when a particular population of fish in the Illinois River is startled. Yeah. Oh, right around back, back. Behind the boat, wow. Watch out, they're everywhere. These are silver carp, the most notorious of the Asian carp family. Many believe the Illinois River has the densest population of silver carp in the nation. That's kind of ground zero on this invasion. Asian carp were introduced to the United States in the 1970s to control algae and catfish farms in the south. In the 1980s, floodwaters allowed the carp to escape and infest the Mississippi River Basin. When it comes to the river systems, if it's connected, if it's got a direct connection to the Mississippi or the Illinois River, it's going to have these fish in it. Asian carp not only disrupt the food chain, push out native fish, are a nuisance to boaters, but they are also extremely dangerous. Yeah, this is about an average size silver carp. Uh, this is the one that can hurt you when it jumps. If your boat's going 20, 30 miles an hour and this guy hits you, it's going to leave a mark. It was a flying silver carp that broke this woman's jaw as she participated in a sport created for the sole purpose of hunting this nuisance fish. Their population is growing at a rapid pace. The females can lay two million eggs a year, and they grow rapidly. Once they get to a certain size, we don't have a predator that's capable of eating them, and they're just running unchecked. So how do we get rid of them? Some say if you can't beat them, eat them. They believe that creating an appetite for a silver carp will hold their population in check. The vision about all this is to literally educate our people how to eat this fish. But getting Americans to eat silver carp has been challenging. People in this country just don't seem to, to want to pick around the bones. The biggest problem with these fish are that the fillets are filled with bones. Now there is concern that Asian carp have a path out of the rivers and into the Great Lakes through the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal. So a multi-million dollar electronic barrier has been constructed to potentially stop the migration. With the barriers in place, we are effectively plugging the biggest hole for the movement of these fish. Uh, it would be very difficult for fish to just swim right through this waterway behind us. But not everyone is convinced. So cleaning, training, and drying boats every time they come out of the water can prevent the tiny microscopic creatures who lurk there from ending up in lakes and rivers where they shouldn't call home. It's the best defense we have against the ever-growing world of the silent invaders.